Hey guys, today we are going to talk about an exciting topic. How do you think an e-commerce company like Amazon or Flipkart would record revenue when they sell a product online? Customers like you and I who purchase these products instantly and pay also instantly, how do you think Amazon or Flipkart would record revenue in such a transaction? Let's jump into the concepts first. Here are the concepts that you can see for IFRS 15. IFRS 15 follows a five step model as you can see over here. I'll not go into the depth of all these five points because today's example is not related to all five of them, but only the last point that you see over here. The last point is revenue is recognized when the performance obligation is satisfied. Now let's take this example that you are buying an iPhone from Amazon. Let's assume that you have ordered this iPhone on 20th August. The delivery date is 25th August and there is always a return window which is available for you for let's assume 10 days when you can return your iPhone. How do you think Amazon will record this revenue or when do you think Amazon should record this revenue? Now as per IFRS 15, revenue is only recorded when performance obligation is satisfied. In this case, you need to first know what is the performance obligation of Amazon. We all know that revenue is only recorded by the seller. In this case, Amazon is the seller. The performance obligation of Amazon is to deliver the iPhone to you. That can be any date because we know that logistics can take some time and the date can be 24th, 25th or 26th of August. Let's assume you get the delivery on 25th August. When do you think Amazon will record this revenue? Do you think Amazon should record this revenue on 20th August? That is the date when you place the order and you paid also on the same date. Whereas Amazon delivered it on 25th August. So there is a five days gap in between this. Also you have a 10 days return window. Do you think Amazon should record it on 20th August, 25th August or 10 days after that, that's 5th September. So IFRS 15 says that Amazon should record when their performance obligation is satisfied. Amazon's performance obligation to deliver this iPhone got satisfied on 25th August. So Amazon will record this revenue on 25th August only and not on the day when they receive money from you. That is just an advance that they have received from you and it will not be recorded as a revenue. Now I guess you will be wondering what about this 10 day window when you have the chance to return the iPhone? Should Amazon record it after the 10 days are over or should they do something for this 10 day period? For this 10 day period, I would want you guys to stay tuned to our channel because I am going to soon post about how do Amazon make a provision for this, for this 10 day window that they have available. How will they make a provision for this? This falls under IAS 37. Please stay tuned to our channel. I'm soon going to cover that as well in IAS 37 when we'll know how is the provision for this recorded in their books of accounts. Please let me know in my comment section if you want me to clarify further on this topic. And as always, please let us know what topics do you want us to cover. We'll be more than happy to cover them. Thank you.